Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for our election day coverage at noon. I'm Eddie Randall. And I'm Alexis Padilla. Polls for the general election opened at 6 this morning and you can cast your ballot until 7 tonight. We have team coverage. KSN's Adam Orduna is breaking down what you need to know before you head to the polls. We start with Mally Jones in West Wichita. Mally, you just spoke with the Sedgwick County Election Commissioner. How is voting going? Yeah, Laura Rainwater says that everything has been going really smoothly so far this morning and people are getting in and out of here very quickly. We haven't really seen any lines today and if there is, then those lines are going very quickly as well. If you have an advanced ballot, then you can drop that off at any of the polling locations or the drop boxes in Sedgwick County. Sedgwick County Election Commissioner Laura Rainwater says these local elections make a bigger impact on daily life than national elections. She says the biggest confusion she has seen today is people going to the wrong polling sites. Some people's sites may have changed since the primaries. Because of redistricting and because we broke up some larger polling sites, uh, we sent every voter that was affected by the change a new voter ID card that lists their new voting location. So people need to look at their voter ID card to make sure they're going to the correct polling site. You can also check your polling place online. We have that link at KSN.com. The goal for this election has been a 25% voter turnout, but early voting turned out a little bit lower than expected. I'm going to be diving into all of those numbers coming up at 1230. Eddie, Alexis. All right, Mally, we'll check back in with you then. Thank you. Now let's head over to Adam Orduna. He is live at the Westlink Church of Christ with what you need to know before you vote. Hey, Adam. How's it going guys? A little bit of a slowdown right now at this polling location here on the west side of Wichita, but poll workers have told me that they anticipate a little bit more foot traffic during the noon lunch hour. So if you are on your way to a polling place, you want to make sure that you are going to the correct polling place. And if you don't know where to go, go to our website, KSN.com, to find out that information. When you do show up, if you are coming in by yourself or with other people, you want to make sure that you have an ID with you and that when you walk to or when you come up to the workers, they will ask you your name and then that's when you will present your photo ID. You will need to sign to receive your ballot. If you need assistance or if have any issues uh, and need accessible voting an accessible voting place you can ask an election worker for help you can also request a paper ballot if you prefer not to use the voting machines now if you are coming to vote after work uh, make sure that you are in line by seven o'clock you will still be able to cast your vote as long as you are in line by seven o'clock reporting here in on the west side of wichita here for you adam warduna case in news Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Adam. The big race on the Wichita ballot. Who will lead the city for the next four years? Incumbent Mayor Brandon Whipple is challenged by political newcomer Lily Wu. Also on the ballot, three city council races. In District 2, incumbent Becky Tuttle faces former Goddard Mayor Marcy Gregory and Hattam Zenadine. Dalton Glasscock and Judy Pierce are running to represent District 4. And Gary Bond, J.V. Johnson and Ben Taylor are all vying for the District 5 seat. Three Wichita School Board seats are up for grabs. Ken Carpenter and Nock Vong are vying for the District 3 seat. In District 4, incumbent Stan Reeser is challenged by Jason Carmichael. In the at-large position, voters will choose either Melody McRae Miller or Brent Davis. Before you go to the polls, you can learn more about each candidate running for Wichita School Board, City Council, and Mayor on our website, ksn.com. And several school districts have school bonds up for a vote today. Mineola is asking voters to approve $15 million to add classrooms to the grade school, secure entrances, and a storm shelter. And McPherson's $88.5 million bond would add a building to the high school and upgrade the HVAC systems at every school in the district. Over at La Crosse, they want to just under an $11 million uh, bond to build a new elementary wing at the junior senior high school. And voters also decide on sales tax issues today. In Fowler, if they approve their bond or their tax, a 1% tax, 90% goes to the school district. Money would pay for an art and music teachers and help with reading and math. The city would use the rest of the money to reduce property taxes and pay off a debt. Hayesville is looking to renew its 1% sales tax. The city says it brings in more than a million dollars each year. Money from the tax goes to streets and parks. 
And Derby wants to double its special sales tax from a half cent to a full cent. The city says this would bring in an extra $5 million annually. The money would be spent on streets and parks and buy new police cars and fire equipment. KSN is here for you with election results throughout the night. We will have the outcome scrolling at the bottom of your screen and updated on KSN.com after pol polls close at 7 o'clock.